Today I will be teaching a professional finger wave done by a right-handed stylist. The items that we are going to need before we start is an all-purpose comb, a professional water bottle, finger waving lotion, towels, and a cape. Before getting started, the number one thing that we always start with is sanitizing our hands. This will help maintain the highest level of infection control for both my clients and myself. To part the hair for this finger wave, I am going to find my non-dominant side, which would be my left hand side. I am going to create a part from the corner of the eyebrow or the middle of the eyebrow back to the crown. I will then comb the heavier section of the hair over to my dominant side, which is right. Finger waving is the art of molding and directing the hair into an S shape pattern. To begin, I will create what's called a C formation within the hair structure. I will take the wider side of my comb and slowly direct the hair back into a C pattern. Her finger wave is going to be going towards her face. So as I mold the hair, I'm going to follow through with my finger and that will create a C formation. So if I sculpt out the letter C, we always start in what's called the open center going towards her face. So once I've established that, I can now apply my finger waving lotion. This finger waving lotion is primarily comprised of water, meaning the hair is going to be a little more pliable, easier to work with, but unfortunately can dry out rather quickly because it is water-based. As I start to create my finger wave, things that I need to keep in mind, if any of the product does drip on the face, I need to immediately wipe that up. It is unprofessional to allow product to drop on your client's face. With my index finger, I'm going to place this where I want my first ridge to begin, around the corner of her eyebrow. I will be using the wider side of my all-purpose comb, about an inch and a half to two inches of that comb. I will insert the comb close to my finger direct it 45 degrees towards my body and I'm slowly going to pull that hair down past my fingertip. The comb is gently resting on the scalp. Slide that up to my fingers, rotating that hair in between the index and middle finger and gently comb everything in the opposite direction. And that will help set the hair up for the second ridge. Slowly remove my finger, gently sliding my fingertip back just above that first ridge. Taking more hair, I now can see this section right here that is open. I am going to fill in that hole just like I would for a puzzle piece. So again, taking just my first inch, inch, inch and a half of that comb, slide that down, when that interlocks like that puzzle piece, I know I'm good to bend that comb down to the scalp, slide it up, rotate and hold with those fingers and comb everything in the opposite direction. I will continue that until I run out of hair on the top of the head. and one more section. For each ridge that I create, I will be applying a small amount of finger waving lotion to help keep the hair pliable. To start my second ridge, 
I now need to locate the open center, which should be exactly where I finished my first section. So my open center, if I continue to draw a C, the C will now be backwards, but I'm going in the direction that it is opened. So I am going to put my index finger just underneath that first ridge. I will now take my comb and I'm going to direct it towards my body, going to the left hand side. So I'm sliding that comb over, tilt the comb down, slide it up, rotate those fingers, gently press and comb that hair out in the opposite direction. Sliding that hair over again, connect that like a puzzle piece, roll that comb off and lift those hands away. For my third ridge, I will create the same pattern as the first ridge. Small amount more finger waving lotion. Comb that out. This front section I'm going to carve out. In a later video, I will be demonstrating how to complete a professional pin curl. So we will leave that for later. I am going to start with the open center again, which is just like the first one. Starting with my finger underneath that ridge, slide it just past my fingertip. Comb goes parallel to the scalp, slide that up, press and hold, and release. Sliding over, up, If I were to continue on a fourth ridge, I would do that the same way that I did for the third, applying a little bit more finger waving lotion, starting in my open center, sliding over, up, I would end with a professional pin curl. Using the finer side of my comb, I'm going to smooth out that hair. I want a ribbon that section of hair in between my thumb and my index finger. And that is going to sit right through the stem. And there is my professional finger wave done with a right-handed part.